Hey guys, today I'm going to a private estate sale. A buddy of mine runs an auction company and he also does estate sales. He messaged me saying that they've got to get everything out of this house, nothing's priced, and he's doing kind of an invite only thing because I don't think they want a huge crowd. So he said there might be five to ten people there and he was nice enough to invite me, which was really cool. I'm heading there now, let's see what we can find. Be Our ready. Parking was crazy. Appreciate it, Justin. No Thanks for the invite, too, by the way. Yeah, of course. So you can have plenty of sales up here and still be. Yeah, it'll take a while to move it all, I'm sure. I don't think they've given them any opportunities. Thanks, there Justin. Yeah. I'm trying to get as much out of there as I can. I like the idea of that. Good thought. Yeah, I came prepared. <laughs>
Hey, Marie, yeah. settle up with you. Okay, all right. I've done enough damage. I yeah. probably don't have any more space. Yeah. Uh, okay. So is this all Barbie's figures? And yeah, there's okay. some, like, down in here, there's, like, a case that was in the kitchen. That okay. was little cool. individual figures. figures. Um, more Barbies and stuff. Okay. Marilyn Monroe. Um, yeah, it's primarily dolls. I cleaned out a ton from the attic. Okay. Like Pocahontas stuff. There's a few things in here, kind of like dolls and things. All right. Like some old phones. Cool. Um, yeah, basically toys and dolls. All right. G.I. Joe's. Yeah, a couple of Michael Jackson things down in there. Um mostly dolls and stuff it looks like and some action figures you got some pretty cool ones in there would uh 275 work gotta be more than that no man yeah let's do 400 you seriously sure? oh yeah this was a man. this was a invitation that. like you brought that. me to this so thank you I appreciate that yeah appreciate it man thank, thank you. you all right guys i'm back at the house and that was a crazy pick there was barely enough room in that place to even really like get around and look at stuff justin was really smart to like eliminate just a handful of people because if he had advertised a big sale and a big crowd showed up like you couldn't even put them anywhere it was kind of crazy so anyways Justin, thank you for the heads up on that man i found a lot of really good stuff justin threw me a price of like 275 which was just way too cheap like I know I can make some good money on this, so I was happy to pay up. Uh, he went out of his way to invite me to that, and I want to keep that relationship going, so that's why I paid up on this stuff. I didn't look up a single thing when I was there. I just was kind of shooting from the hip. Uh, some things I had a good idea of their value, other things not so much, but I was just like filling bags and boxes and making a big pile, but I've got some stuff pulled out now, and I want to look it up and see what it's worth. All right, we've got a Barbie Loves Elvis doll. There was a ton of Barbies in that house and I didn't want to buy all of them. I tried to like kind of pick and choose what I wanted. I mean, I wouldn't even have enough space in my card if I would have bought all the Barbies. Okay, it looks like this one's going for about $30 plus shipping, so that's pretty good. Here's Elizabeth Taylor and Cleopatra doll. Oh wow, that's a really good one. 79, 74, 50, 75. This one looked a little bit older. Growing Up Skipper from 1974. Okay, I searched 1974 Growing Up Skinner and didn't see much. I see one right here in the box. It sold for 86. There's a loose doll that went for 107. So yeah, definitely some value with that one. I thought this Hercules figure was cool. Let's see. Hercules Legendary Journeys by Toy Biz. This is from 95. That one's not worth a bunch. Looks like... 1050 plus shipping, $30 free shipping. Yeah, so that might be like a 10 $15 figure. Here's Aladdin, Fashion Genie. Looks like he's got a little like goofy helmet there. That's a pretty good one. 25 plus shipping, 26 plus shipping, 35 plus shipping. I like pointing out in the listings to you guys if it's free shipping or plus shipping because for this guy right here, if a lot of those listings were like $25 plus shipping, realistically, you can expect to get about $15 to $20, you know, because shipping is going to cost anywhere from like $8 to $10 on that, depending on where you're going to ship it out to. All right, in this bag, we've got an old Mickey. There are some tags on some of this. This says 1960. Marching Mickey Mouse. All right, there's a handful of these without the shirt. Looks like it went for like 20 plus shipping. Huh, none of these have the shirt. That's interesting, so that should add some value. Here's an old McDonald's toy. Well, a couple of them actually. First one is this Captain Crook. I've never heard of that character before. It's from 1976. Yeah, that's a good one. Uh, $68, $56, $55. Looks to be in pretty good shape too, the uh, little punch tab thing hasn't been punched in. It's got, you know, a little bit of wear on the, the card, but not that bad. You know, being from the mid 70s, that's in decent shape. And then here is an old McDonald's play toy. This is Fisher Price. Let's see if there's a year somewhere on this thing. Not seeing a year, but I see a code 2552. So we'll search that. All right, here we go. Looks like it's late 80s. And this one had all the little accessories and it sold for 76. Wow, it looks like just a little like french fry thing went for 15. Okay, so this was a little people thing that uh, Fisher Price did specifically for McDonald's, but I don't think I have any of the little people. So this thing by itself, maybe 20, 25 bucks. 
I thought this was really cool, and I actually found two of them, so I had to pick these up. These are Beetlejuice cars, and the other one I got has Beetlejuice in it. Let's see, this is, let's see if we can figure out the maker. 1990 Geffen Film Company Kenner. Okay, so it's by Kenner. I'm just gonna search Kenner Beetlejuice car, 1990. Okay, it looks like it's called the Creepy Cruiser. One of them sold for parts for 20 bucks. Let's see, 17, if it had the box, it'd be worth 60. So not a ton, but I still thought it was cool. Beetlejuice stuff typically does pretty well. It's got a big following. Got an old monkey. Let's see, Stife, 1940s, one point. Somebody was wanting $400 for this thing. Stife is a very expensive brand of uh, teddy bears. At least I'm pretty sure. I don't think I'm making that up. I don't see an original tag on this thing, so I'm just going to search Stife Monkey and see what pops up. Holy cow. Okay. Uh, this one's a 23-incher, much bigger than mine. That's all for 220 This one looks pretty similar, 1957 um that's multicolored. that went for 35. mine's in pretty rough shape too here's one that went for 125. not exactly sure which one i have but yeah i think there's definitely a market for it i am really happy with this buy i cannot wait to get all this stuff listed and sold that is it for this video guys thanks for watching i'll see you next time <laughs>